Initiating virtual tour. And we are live! Actually, this is pre-recorded. <gasps> Hello there! You made it! Welcome to the virtual tour of the University of the Philippines, Cebu. I'm Annie and I am a proud alumna of UP Cebu. And between just you and me, I had the best four years here in UP Cebu. I came from the College of Communication, Arts and Design, where we did not learn only the basics in journalism and other communication components, but they also taught us how to become relevant. You only have one viewer. My college is also home to the Fabrication Laboratory, where people meet and converge to use different equipment where they can fabricate things, stuff for the advancement of industrial and product design. All of this comes from the creativity of the Fine Arts program itself. Hey, Sean. Why don't you tell them more about the Fine Arts Program? The Fine Arts Program itself, founded in 1975, is the pioneer formal school in the fine arts outside the national capital. The college is also the host to nearly half a century old annual painting competition, Jose Hoya Awards, in honor of the famous national artist Jose Hoya, and from whom UP Cebu's Jose Hoya Gallery was named after. As the campus of the Premier University here in the Visayas, we have to be good. No, we have to be better or even we have to be the best. Not only in the humanities, but even in the sciences as well. Isn't that right, Sean? That's right, Annie. In 2014, UP Cebu Senvi, or the Central Visayas Center for Environmental Informatics, came up with high-resolution maps using LiDAR technology. The use of this technology by UP Cebu Senvi provided government agencies with accurate data for more precise community flood risk assessment and management. This helped local government units make informed decisions based on data science and in the process, maximizing their financial resource utilization. And in the case of the Naga Cebu landslide of 2018, UP Cebu Senvi's use of LiDAR technology allowed for one of the fastest search and retrieval operations in a disaster in the Visayas. Helping the community through the sciences is very fulfilling, but we were not just exposed to that. We were also exposed to the social sciences, from political science to psychology, and all of these concepts helped shape our mindsets to become better citizens. In fact, the, the co College of Social Sciences articulates and addresses global challenges. The college offers comprehensive and appealing programs for high school, undergraduate, and graduate students. The Master of Education program is a non-thesis graduate program designed for graduates of the Bachelor of Elementary Education or Bachelor of Secondary Education who want to pursue their professional preparation through future studies in areas relevant to teacher education. And of course, there were also budding business leaders in campus. They were the ones who had the nose for business but had the big heart to be of service. Under the School of Management, students are not only taught to be decision makers, but the forerunners in marketing and finance. It also hones those interested in further studies of this field through its Master's in Business Administration program. Today, I am now a practicing broadcast journalist, an opinion columnist, an entrepreneur, a teacher, a better person, really. All of this because of my training and experience at UB Cebu. Nurtured to create, inspired to innovate, destined to serve. We at the University of the Philippine Cebu are driven by academic and operational excellence. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining this virtual tour. I'm so happy you took part. Oh look, Sean, a lot of people are tuning in. But the tour is over. <laughs>
Well, we'll just do it again. Ready when you are, Annie. Reinitiate virtual tour. <laughs>